officially in 2007, uh, but I would say unofficially it was a few years before that, just having ideas and giving back in different ways. Um, it was just a way for me to say thank you, a way for me to uh, give back to the game of golf that's been so amazing to me and my family. And I'm just thinking of all the places I've been and the people I've met. And I mean, it's just been, it's been incredible. So, you know, I wanted to do something that, that I understood, something that's close to my heart, something that I feel like I can contribute. And, and uh, you know, so it started with, you know, and still is today, obviously 12 years later, but we are providing playing opportunities for, for young women around the world. But, you know, we started small with one tournament in the U.S. And then, you know, the concept is to, it's more than golf. So it's not just, you know, three days of golf. We try to do seminars or workshops. We, I do a clinic for them. We have welcome dinners and we have a lot of different things going on around the tournament. And one of the things that we wanted to do is to make it global. I'm a, a global player. So we wanted to have similarities to, you know, kind of my career. So, you know, once we started to get these international players, these other federations said, well, we, we want to have an event like this in, in our, in our country and in our continent. So, you know, here we are now with seven different tournaments around the world, you know, in China and New Zealand and, and uh, Argentina and, and um, Europe to, to name a few. And it's been, it's been a lot of fun for me. It's been so rewarding. So, so exciting to see, you know, girls golf, young women's golf grow on these different levels and you can imagine you know after 12 years we've seen thousands of uh, players go through our programs because we have over 600 every year you know we have 150 that play on the Symmetra tour we have over 70 that play on the LPGA tour so I've seen a lot of them grow up you know mm -hmm. you know the quarter sister for example is is uh, some of the girls that you know have done really well in on the amateur circuit and then also the professional circuit and Alison Lee and, you know, Bronte Law. And this is a bunch of them that, that I've been following, which has been really fun for me as well. And Maria Fassi, of course, who is uh, one of the, maybe her second year now, not a rookie, but uh, have done very well with receiving the Annika Award uh, presented by Stiefel. So it's been, um, it's been a, like I said, a pleasure and for, for us as well to be able to give back. And, you know, especially during these tough times, you know, it's, a lot of these players don't have anywhere to go. This is their livelihood. This is this is where they, you know, um, make their money to be able to fulfill their dreams. So it's been it's been nice to be able to help out on different levels. Even though our tournaments now have been postponed to 2021, but um, you know there are other things that you can do to support them and keep that dream alive.